Hi, hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. Today I wanted to go ahead and update you guys with the Righteous Fire Inquisitor progress. Not sure if we're on day 9 or 10 or so, but uh, 97, almost level 98. But today is going to be a fun day because I basically want to explain what I spent my 10 exalts on. So, earlier in the previous video, I showed you guys this helmet and I told you I wanted to do for 2 exalt suffixes cannot be changed, reforge life more likely at harvest. So by doing that, the suffixes cannot be changed here is two exalts. So if we check, this is what I did on the helmet, and that is a prefix modifier. By doing reforge life and harvest, I was trying to secure a high life regen roll or a high percentage increase life regen roll. If you look at the last stat on the helmet on the left, you'll notice I hit an 18, which is not very high. So I'm not really sure what to do with this helmet. I may just keep it for recombinating fodder, but for now, we are leaving it alone. The rest of the currency went into this weapon that we now have. Now, uh, originally getting the plus one plus one did not really take us anything. It was trying to get a third prefix or a really good unveil on a suffix. So basically that was Prefixes cannot be changed, Veiled Chaos, and hope we unveil Fire.Multi or Fire Damage. Did that three times, did not work, so that's minus six exalts. Then I had to fix my Scepter because it had a third prefix, uh, so that was basically um, cannot roll caster, or prefixes cannot be, I forgot exactly what it was, but I had to spend another two exalts to clean it, that doesn't really matter. Uh, now though, I, I just went back and multi-modded my Scepter, which is more than enough for SSF. So all I have to do with this weapon now is simply divine the prefixes to get the fire damage. And then when we get a hunter exalt, we will hunter exalt our weapon, hoping for malevolence effect. Uh, right, so that's our weapon. The last thing is, uh, this one didn't take any currency. I don't remember if I showed you guys this amulet I crafted, I don't know if it was yesterday or the day before, uh, but this is the new amulet that we are using. Furthermore, I do have a plus one all amulet, so I had two of these, they dropped out of a mirrored box. If you guys remember my old marble amulet that had that fractured dex on it, you'll notice this has fractured dex. I actually took my old plus one all fire with the fractured dex, merged it with this, did not carry over my plus one, but it did carry over the fracture and the plus one all. So technically I could recombinate this back to a marble amulet. So this is something that will be an ongoing project later. Um, yeah, so that was pretty fun. And I know a lot of people are going to ask, how do you get plus one, plus one? Simple answer is you get yourself a plus one all spell skills, ideally with no prefixes. Um, so for example, I could fix this with the uh, the caster annul, but I'm not going to really go into that right now. Very easy to Google. And same thing with this one. You want a plus one all fire spells clean. And then I believe I crafted fire damage and merged them together and hope for the best outcome. Other than that, uh, we are pretty much right now on the journey to get two hunter exalts. I would like to slam this amulet. Um, I also have a jewel located right over here in Harvest. So this is a small mana reservation efficiency. And if I can roll, I believe it is called mortifying aspect on this jewel. Um, it's the Malevolence Reservation. I'll probably drop one, two, three, four, five, since it's, I mean, I don't really need this increased fire damage per strength. So I swap those five points, put five points into a cluster, which gives us the Mortifying Aspect. Switch my Anoint from Arsonist over to uh, Charisma, and then we get Skitterbots. Uh, so that's, that's gonna be one of our goals. Also still farming Elder Helms. Uh, let me go ahead and jump in a map to show you guys what we are doing. Also, we still have... Uh, I have not run these yet. So we are at... 7 streaming invitations. That was a weird load. Oh, harvest and expedition. Oh boy. And ritual. Oh. Actually unblocked ritual just because of the chance at getting fractured bases out of ritual. That's a big one. all 
the on death is gone. Okay. Syndicate too? Hog? Our single target has went up a lot. It feels much better from what it was before. And uh, it's actually going to level up. It's going to go up again, which is even better. Uh, so I have... This is not so much for single target, but I do have a Awakened Ellie Focus here that's close to level 5. But remember that every... And I could be wrong on this, but I think every plus 1 level of RF is 1% more spell damage for any of your other supporting skills. So not only does it buff RF's damage, but it also buffs Fire Trap, I think, which is pretty sick. Then I also have an Empower that I've been leveling, I think you guys saw before. My Empower is very close to level 3, which means we're going to have to go double Corrupt in hopes that it goes for 4. All right, John. Let's go. Give me some rings. I'd love to get some more uh, minimum frenzy and minimum endurance rings. Oh, gravicious. That's pretty good too. Gravicious chest. I like gravicious chests. So people always ask about this, how do you get Gravicious chests? Gravicious pops up, you click a button, sometimes he drops a chest. If it says prefix with Gravicious veiled, then you're good to go. If you don't have three prefixes, so if you look here, this says prefix, prefix, and prefix, that's locked. If you don't have a third prefix, you could craft something to block. And then you're hoping that this pops up, and bam, that's Gravicious chest. Nice and easy. All right, though, that is pretty much about it. Uh, some other things that I've been doing over here is I have a, basically a tab here with fodder, which is basically all just going to be used for recombinating, except for this part. This is my cluster jewels leaking over from delirium that I have to fight for one that I'm too late. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much about it. I haven't really been doing too much with harvest yet. Pretty much just spamming my jewels slash caster spamming for plus one weapon spamming these jewels i feel like i'm at the point now where rare jewels are coming in since i have like a slot here a slot here technically a two-pointer here um and i just don't really have very good jewels and here's another two-pointer jewels are like a massive massive way to scale righteous fires damage since they come with increases and multipliers so that's definitely something that i want to do is squeeze in more jewel sockets anyway that's pretty much about it hope you guys enjoyed the series it's probably going to be coming to an end soon, but that doesn't mean the SSF's, like, playthrough on Twitch is going to end. It's just after so long, I'm, I'm going to stop doing update videos because it's just, uh, there's not a lot that kind of happens, right? So maybe they'll turn into, like, every couple of days. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm out. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you did, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day, but Mondays at twitch.tv slash box. Guys, all tomorrow.